Good morning, students. Again, we are back to our course, Power Generation Economics, EE704C, Lecture 5. And in the last lecture, lecture number 4, in this subject, Power Generation Economics, we were discussing a problem with four units and we are choosing for a certain amount of load, for a certain amount of load, which is the best combination which combination will be the best. <coughs> we were discussing this uh, unit commitment procedure through dynamic programming in the last lecture and we, we were discussing about a problem <coughs> and we will be uh, solving that problem. It is a long problem and we have solved uh, a few steps and the remaining steps we will be solving in this lecture 5 and we, we will be more discussing about this subject also, about this unit commitment more techniques. So we were discussing about <coughs> this one. Minimum, we were discussing about minimum of, you see in your last lecture it was like this, 1085, 1085, uh, 1202, 1202.405, 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 another was 1202.02, 1202.02, 1202.02, 0 uh, then it was 1303.03, 1303.845, rather I am writing like this, 1207, Point eight 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 eight. Then it was one two one four point one two five one two five one two five. Then it was one two one one two one nine one nine point five eight. Then it was one two three three. 1233.24.24 then it was 1261.20 then it was 1246.12 and it was finally 455.5 now what was this what was this this was the minimization of first one was f2 F20 plus F10. F110 rather. So all the combination then this one was what was this one? This one was F21 plus F19. So out of that we are taking the combinations of unit one and two. We are taking the combinations of unit 1 and unit 2. So out of these combinations, we have set out all the combinations. Uh, F20, F110, F21, F19. Uh, finally, it will be coming F210 and F10. So uh, all these combinations. So if the unit second unit takes 10 megawatt of load and the remaining unit what is the remaining unit only the remaining unit out of two units only the remaining unit is one and <coughs> that unit takes zero megawatt load so that is the this cost is the minimum cost so you can understand if the combinations we have uh, chosen four units and out of two units, we are choosing for the dynamic programming method, which is the best combination. So we have found out if the two units are chosen at a time, we will be getting, if we load the second unit with 10 megawatts and we will keep the, under shutdown stage, the first unit, the cost is minimum. You see, out of all the cost, this is the minimum cost. Now, 
let us move to our next part we will move to our next part now similarly we will be calculating similarly similarly we will be calculating f29 we have calculated f210 now we will be calculating f29 now this f29 the cost for the two units for a load of 9 megawatt that will be that is minimum of minimum of what will be the combinations f20 f20 plus f19 this is one combination second combination will be f21 f1 f1 8 8 plus 1 9 0 plus 9 is 9 the load has been satisfied then the third combination is f2 2 plus f1 7 so out of all the combinations so final last combination will be f2 9 f2 9 plus f1 0 now out of all the combination we have to choose which one is the minimum you know all the values you know all the values similarly let me explain the first value will come as one zero five five point seven four one zero five five point seven four rupees so f20 you know and what is the value of f19 that also you know that also you know you have calculated previously f19 f19 is f19 you have calculated previously f19 is f19 and you have you have calculated this now this is equal to this you have substituted and you know also f20 you know all the values of f21 uh, f21 up till then uh, f22 then f210 uh, up till all the values you know you substitute and see, find out which one is the minimum similarly you calculate f28 also you calculate f28 similarly you calculate all the values up till up till f21 f21 you will be getting all the minimum of all these things minimum of all these things and you you set up all these values and you get the minimum okay still now our problem is not yet over we will be continuing with this problem so the combinations are four four units are there so four units we are taking now at a time two units with the first one we have taken with a load of 10 megawatt now we are taking with 9 then we are taking with 8 then we are taking with 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 so the cost for a 1 megawatt we, we will be also calculating this is a long problem you have to understand step by step similarly now you have to calculate first f30 now the third unit we will be introducing 
So previously we have introduced one unit. Secondly, we have introduced two units at a time, uh, one, unit one and unit two. Now we will be introducing the third unit. So for introducing the third unit, you have to calculate F three zero. Similarly, you have to calculate F three one. F three one means what is the cost for the third unit with zero megawatt? What is the cost for the third unit for one megawatt? So all the values you have to calculate up till ten megawatts. And why zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Because it has been asked for each and every step of load ten megawatts. You are discretizing the load into ten steps. Had it been discretized into two steps, then the first one will be zero, five, and ten. Now you are discretizing the steps with a all one megawatts. So that's why you are calculating F three zero, F three one, F three. Two, F three four, F three five, and finally F three ten. So all the values you will get one value. I, I I am writing here. You have to calculate F three one is five zero nine point nine nine. Similarly, you calculate and F three ten is eight sixty nine point zero zero. Okay. Now the combinations of unit one. Plus unit two, plus unit three. Now, what we, if we take earlier? Now, for a load of ten megawatts, F three ten will be minimum of minimum of F three zero plus F two ten. Similarly, the second one will be F three one plus F two nine. Now all the one F three ten plus F two zero. Now you have to find out for the minimum cost which one, whether this cost, whether this cost, whether this cost, this cost, this cost. So you have to find out the minimum of this cost. And out of this, you will be seeing that the F three ten, the minimum cost is four fifty five, four fifty five point five. This much rupees per hour. So this, uh, out of this, this combination. Now, which combination is do we are you are getting? You will be seeing that for the combination of three units. So unit two, unit two must operate, and unit one and three will be under off state. So you will be getting this one. So you will be getting this one as the minimum. So now this one as the Minimum. That is for the generation of 10 megawatts. For the generation of 10 megawatts by three units, unit two alone will commit to meet the load of of 10 megawatts, and unit one and three are in off state conditions. Similarly. You calculate all the values again. Similarly, you calculate eight three nine. Eight three nine, and up till. F three one. You find out all these values. Now for the last unit, you have to see for the fourth unit, F four one 
for the first for the fourth unit. Now fourth unit is under operation. If we take the fourth unit under operation, you calculate F41. Similarly, first one F40. You have to calculate F41. You calculate and all the values of F4 10 up to here you calculate and you keep it. Similarly, you calculate for the four units at a combination unit one plus unit two plus unit three plus unit four. So all the four units if you take at a time of combination F4 10 means all the four units taken at a time for a load of 10 megawatts the combination is minimum of minimum of what are the combinations f40 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 plus f310 similarly f41 f39 all the combinations you have to choose which one is the minimum f410 plus f3 zero. so out of these all the combinations you have to choose and find out what is the minimum value you will be seeing that the minimum each minimum each again 415 Again, out of this, the minimum for a load of 10 megawatts, the, the, this one is F49. F14. F14 is 455. The first one. The first one is the minimum. This comes about 455.5. The first one. The first one is that the fourth unit will be zero and the third unit. Now, what is the F310? You know previously from there you find out. So finally, all the things you have to calculate F410, F49, F48, all the for a load of nine megawatts, for a load of eight megawatts. If the combination of four units taken at a time, what will be? So in place of 10, you have to put and all the combinations you have to check it and finally you will be seeing that for a load this is the final answer this is the final answer units units One, two, three, four. For a load, load is one to ten megawatt. Load is one to ten megawatt. For a load of one to ten megawatts, now you have to operate only the first unit, the uh, second unit, and the other three units will be under offset. So this is the cost minimization, optimization through unit commitment by dynamic programming method. So, again, we will be meeting uh, in the lecture 6. Thank you, students. Uh, solve this type of problems very uh, once or twice in your uh, notebooks, answer books. And you can, if any doubts, you can uh, see the video. You can call me. We will be solving uh, this type of problems. And it is a very interesting problem. So, the problem becomes very difficult, you see, when the units are more. Now, what we are taking, uh, only the cost. We have not applied the shutdown cost, the startup cost, spinning reserve cost, all these things we have not applied. Only the with the cost, we have applied and for the loads, we have discretized into 10 steps. So for 1 megawatt, 2 megawatt, 3 megawatt, 4 megawatt, all the 10 steps and for the 4 units. So only this type of combinations we have chosen. 
So how many combinations you will be getting? 2 to the power 4 minus 1. So what is the value? Means 2 to the power 4 means 16 out of 15 combinations. Isn't it? Now 2 to the power 4. 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. 4 for 16. 16 minus 1. 15. So out of 15 combinations we have chosen for a load of 1 to 10 megawatts. Within 1 to 10 megawatts it is best to operate with the second unit and other three units will be under obstacle. Okay. Thank you students. We will be meeting in our lecture number 5.